Hey everyone, Tape Deck Reviews here, otherwise known as James Jump. Welcome back to another episode of Lockdown Sessions. This is the second session we're doing, and today I'm joined by a friend of mine, Connor Bailey. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yo, I am Connor, and I'm currently playing Call of Duty Zombies. Right, so... I'm happy to be here. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm glad you're happy to be here. So, second lockdown, what's your thoughts on it? Like, you in general with all this shit? Not gonna lie, I feel like this is like... what? what, what how should I describe this? It's sort of like the Spider-Man 3 compared it, to Spider-Man 2. It's not as shit, but it's still no, shit. No, no, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Lockdown 1, banging. Lockdown 2, ain't it? Lockdown 2, ain't it? Ain't it? Yeah, but what about like, Lockdown 3? I have to go to college. I still have to go to college. Mm-hmm. And, you know, cinemas are closed and stuff. And, like, I'm just sat here playing COD all day, every day. Lockdown 1 was sick because I didn't have to go to college, so, you know. Yeah, but when like lockdown, lockdown 1 started easing, we were able to go out, and when cinemas opened, we were all fine. It was around August and everything was decent. But now cinemas yeah, are closed again, so there's, there's not really much out anyway. Like, missed, missed yeah, out a few was... films, that's about it. So, yeah. it's not that much to miss out on. There was not much to watch in cinemas at all, really. But, Just a few new films, but college decent. has been a saving grace, actually, kind of, because we're getting out a lot more. Like, it, cause I, 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 I didn't like staying, being cooped in all, inside all day. We have to, we have to, have to get out. So going to college is like kind of a excuse to get a bus, get into a routine, as I said last episode, and just get out and see the world for a bit. Well, back and head. Yeah, but like, yeah, but like you're going out, but you're all, all you're doing when you're going out is sitting in the classroom. Yeah, but you go in early, you can walk around back and up. I don't know. I feel like the only good thing about lockdown, which was no college, is now like there's no longer there. So like, what's lockdown like? It's just crap. Yes. So, are we? Oh, by the way, is, is, there going to be a, is there going to be a second season of this when uh, we get a nuclear war over the vaccines? Um, I'm thinking about just bringing on a bunch of anti vaxxers and like make like yeah. an anti vax podcast, just me and them, and like see see their point of view. Like, call I'll get, it bunker. Call it bunker call sessions. It <laughs> bunker sessions. <laughs> take their views. So, speaking of bunker sessions and Cold War, has Call of Duty Cold War been like you know a bit of a saving grace this lockdown? It's been something to do. You know what I mean? Like chilling on that for a bit. Nah, it's a bit crap to be honest. It's a bit, what? It's a bit crap to be honest. A bit too laggy. They just brought out the game and it's been half finished. Yeah, but it's still something it's to do. Cra- the game's crashed off 50 times. They didn't enjoy the campaign though. You got to be a communist at the end and kill a bunch of Americans. Spo- which was spoiler. quite cool. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't watched it. But like, it was quite cool. So I enjoyed the campaign, but like, nah, it's a bit of a buggy game. A bit disappointed. Hopefully Cyberpunk will be good when that comes out. That got delayed like 50 times. Knows? Yeah, I, I, I thought it was, it was meant to come up this week. I'm just mm-hmm. like still sat here waiting. I mean, it's kind of good because it, it, it clashed with the release of COD, and you know, it wouldn't have really came out. Well, it would have been pretty cool though, because like COD doesn't have that much content, so like you could smash through all of COD's content in a week, and then you got Cyberpunk. I have right buying two games so. at once, and that's a hefty hit to the bank account. It's around the hundred quid gone right there. Yeah, but you didn't buy Cold War. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I didn't buy Cold War. I just game shared off him, so <laughs> free game in it. But yeah, like games have been helping during this lockdown. Like the last one, I wasn't really asked. Like I got, I got Doom, which is game of the year so far. I, I got Doom, oh, Doom but Eternal. that's about it. Oh, yeah, Doom yeah. Eternal. And then I just didn't bother with anything else because there was nothing really else. Like my sister got Animal Crossing, played a bit of that. That was shit. You got both, didn't Animal you? Cro- Animal Crossing was, was alright. It was a bit overrated, but like it was alright. I enjoyed it. Damn, fun. Like, my loads of people have like seven hundred hours on it. Like what can yeah, you do for seven hundred hours? Yeah, it, it, it's shit. It's it's too slow pace, <laughs> like that. That the reason my second lock, the first lockdown was fun, was because everyone no had no no clue what to do. Like everyone was baking, everyone was getting into new shit. I bought a guitar and me and I bought a guitar during the first lockdown. Like Jesus I, I, I need something to do. Join the Rolling Stones. Do you want me to? Like, I'll, I'll I'll become like the second Mick Jagger. That'd be sick, yeah. Yeah, James well, Jagger. J- and James Jagger, yeah. Okay, I'm coming, coming to my uh, fucking college and um, live shows and that. But yeah, the lockdown's been an iffy one for me, like this one because I I wasn't expecting it to come so fast. Like the like the, the the national one I expected, but the local one I didn't expect because the world had such low fucking you know cases. But it was Liverpool. Did it? Yeah, the world had um it was low enough. It was it was mainly the um, Liverpool. Damn it! And, and because we're like God damn you Liverpool. Because we're slammed into two pretty much. Yeah, we're, we're like classed as one entity, so yeah, we're we're like the same place, even though there's a whole ass w- uh, river between us. <laughs> Fucking wall, what blocks is like a r- tunnel. Exactly. 
But yeah, so wh- what are you looking forward to after lockdown? Because there's so much to look forward to after the... Um, what I mean after lockdown, I'm going to say next March, because I reckon we've got a few more to go. And a few March? More. I reckon March, so I think it's back to normal. Looking probably. forward to new films coming out. Be great. I want to go see Fast and Furious 9 <laughs> and Wonder Woman 1984. Banging films. They look so great. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars is going to be good. It's going to be a fun game. You know, Lego, what's it called? Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga? Yeah, I'll be playing the hell out of that. That'll be the best game ever made, I reckon. So after watching Fast and Furious, I'll go home and play Lego Star yes. Wars. Yes, that's Ooh. how my march will be. Whenever well, it ends. You guys get some chicky nuggies as well to go with it. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just looking forward to, you know, back to normal. Back to you know normal. I mean? Just doing what I want to do and not having to worry about stupid social distancing and stuff, which is obviously, you know, a good idea. Wear your mask and stuff, but it is also very annoying. So. Would you get the vaccine, like, if you, if it came down to it and they were like, yo, your turn? Because it doesn't actually stop you from getting corona, it just stops you from, like, getting really ill with, Ill with the virus. I'm not asked me, you know, whatever. Just don't care. I mean... Yeah, whatever. If, if they want it, if they want me to have it, I'll have it. If they don't want me to have it, I won't have it. Like, I don't believe the theories that the government's tracking you, because there's so much more to be tracked out there. Oh, the government's already tracking us anyway. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like they're probably listening to us right now. Bloody, you know, I mean, probably Hitler's still alive, sat in UK Parliament, having his master plan at the ready. Yeah, you reckon Joking. Hitler's still alive, like controlling from the background? Because yesterday yeah. Ryan came on. He's told me about his a new book he's reading, like um. About the Illuminati and about how everything's controlled and shit. And it made yeah, Ryan me, needs to chill. It, Ryan needs to chill. It bro. made me think of you and uh, with your fucking pyramid theory, where you rang me up at like nine AM once and were like, "James, I think <laughs> I think the pyramids like being controlled like upside down." I can't. Well, remember. the pyramids were. All right, we're not getting into it. I'm not asking. We're not no, getting into no, it. No, 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 no. Go on, say it. What were the pyramids? I'm just saying they were made by aliens, but like, it's a possibility. I feel like I should save that for another one. I feel like I need to like get all the crazy yeah. people and <laughs> let them speak out. Get them in one podcast. Yeah, like won't we get like argue. you and everyone else on there just to d- get chat Toby on someone to defend Trump and fascism or something? <laughs> he's actually one. He's actually one of the guests I'm bringing on here. I, that's that's another person. Can I be there? Um, his name's Toby Chester. He's a TikToker, controversial figure. I've actually got him coming on in a few episodes of time. So <laughs> can I be there? Um, as like as like a mediator to make sure he doesn't go over top. Yes, I'll run it. I'll run it, I'll run it through of myself, but that's a definitely yeah. maybe. But yeah, I, definitely maybe. That's nice. definitely maybe. But what I'm looking forward to after lockdown. That is a cool phrase. Definitely maybe. I'll put that in the title. So, but what I'm looking forward to after lockdown, as you said, normality. I I just yeah. want in August. I think that was the closest to, to normality we've been since February time. True. I miss August um was fucking August was based. As far as months go, that was August. a good month. Was August red pilled or blue pilled? Oh, red pilled, hundred percent. August was red pilled. Well, <laughs> it's yeah, just making sure you knew. I I was a big fan of August personally. Yeah, it was I a feel like very good I, month. I, I I am yet to have August's autograph, but someday, someday, so, uh, someday, I will hope to get it. Uh, but yeah, August was pretty good. Unpopular opinion, but as far as my years go, twenty twenty has not been like my worst year. 2020 has actually been really good. Well, no, because like, it's helped me find myself. It's our age. It's because of our age. If we were like middle-aged men, yeah, it would be fucking blank. It'd be a bit, be a bit crappy. But since we're like 17, I mean, every year is exciting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every year we're accomplishing new stuff. Just wait till we get full-time jobs and our life becomes miserable. <laughs> but, and then we retire. But then we have to worry about growing old and dying. So you know, a bit existential. Bit very fun cares. little. Fun little, fun little activity we've got to look forward to. 2020, the worst year so far. But no, I've, I've really found myself, like, this year, like, I've I've explored new things. I've gotten to the idea of trying out new shit. I, I've had massive career changes on, like, my CVs and shit. I've actually started to care mm-hmm. about my subjects. So 2020's actually been a little bit of an eye-opener because I hated online lessons. I'm not quite sure about you. Yeah, online lessons are a bit crap. They were shit. Like, every, like, every lesson... I, I couldn't do anything because it, it was so poorly explained. Like, no offense to teachers and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, what the hell even happened in China? I swear, I have no idea. Yeah, we did a China course in history. That that just went out the window. But mm-hmm. lockdown... The, the reason I started lockdown sessions was to get everyone's, like, little bits of opinions and base on what they think. Um, what they based. think of the... <laughs> yeah, base, Sorry. yeah. What they think of the last lockdown, this lockdown, 
and what's to come and the opinions on government. So, what's your opinions on what the government's done? Like, as far as dumbass, rich ass, Tory ass, I hate them. Nah, I hate to get political, but like, I mean, they are a bit stupid. You know what I mean? There are some small brains going on. Like, they could have, I feel like we didn't need a full on lockdown. They no, just, like, I reckon it was uh, somewhat needed. Sort of sort of done like no they could have done like locked down certain things that needed to be locked down like there's a lot of stuff like gyms and stuff like that that are about as safe as going to school you know what i mean or if not safer yeah gyms yeah, are a like lot safer hardly, cause... hardly any cases in gyms or stuff like that or apparently cinemas haven't had many cases yet. no yeah cause, well, how many times we went to cinema like as soon as they opened did you once get a track and chase call back or anything because i got nothing nope I got zero. Like I don't think because it, nope. it, it's. Uh, it I think close. it's pubs and restaurants that were the issue. Eat out, eat out I to help know. out. You reckon that's like fucked over everything? Uh, not eat out to help out in particular, but it certainly helped. It helped boom the economy because I went out on the first day. I was part of the problem. I and, died. And Liverpool, it was so good. packed. It was packed like everywhere you went. You couldn't get in half the places. Like half yeah, the places exactly. Went out but it did, it, I think that's one of the reasons why. Yeah, and then obviously school opening as well, kinda. There I mean, I'm many just saying cases. it can't be a coincidence that uh, the lo- that Corona starts becoming a bad thing again once uh, schools open. I mean, it's all op- it's all like opened up at once, so it's caused like a massive surge of cases, and everyone's forgot like what Corona actually is going around. Because you like it's weird because in the beginning of the year, I was a lot more frightened of it than I am now. Because I think, oh no, someone in this building has Corona now. I'm like, oh, oh shit. But if if, if someone said it to me back in March or April, I'd be like, oh no, fuck, 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 like. My opinion of like how scared of it has changed, and I know that for a lot. I of mean, population. I'm I I want to get it now less more. No, sorry, I don't want to get it now as much. Like back when like Corona was first a thing, we first got Corona in our hands. I was like, yeah, sure, give it to me, why not? But like now, I don't want to get it because like you I'll wanted have to Corona you... and stuff. I don't want to. You know what I mean? Like sort of self isolate at home. It's not I a YouTube challenge. <laughs> you wanted Corona. I'm just saying. I know. Back in the day, I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll have Corona." Fuck that on your Christmas list. <laughs> Actually, Corona recently became one seventeenth, um, wasn't it? Of November. What seventeenth of November? <laughs> remember, Corona, Corona became one. It's its first year birthday. Oh yeah, it's it's been around for more than a year now, which is a bit crazy. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it hasn't been an issue for a while. It's uh, it was it became an issue like six months ago. I'm pretty sure. Hey, and, uh, it's funny because our, our local hospital had one of the first UK cases. Like, True. Where they, they brought them all back, and <laughs> it was the only attention the Wirral ever gets. It's either a, the, the only attention Wirral gets either an attack, a stabbing, or a big news event. Or the Beatles. No, mm, that's Mersey, so that's more Liverpool based. Cause True. I, I, I thought the Beatles ever came over. Do, do, yeah, do, but, do you reckon yeah, Ringo's but, ever yeah, like, stepped in Birkenhead? Been... What? Yeah, do you reckon Ringo's like, ever stepped into Birkenhead and been like, Jesus Christ, that was a shithole? True, probably. <laughs> that was probably where John Lennon got shot. <laughs> what, the Beatles grew up in Beckenhead? Yeah. That, that's weird to think the Beatles have probably been to like fucking Breesby or something. John Lennon going to Pyramids to go get a chopsticks noodle, whatever. Well, he's, get, he's getting a roast with um, Ringo and put him fucking... Oh, lad, George he's getting Harrison. some Crawshaw's chicken. Oh, Crawshaw's. Very well tried that out, you know. If he was still alive, he'd well go there. Oh no! If all if all the Beatles were alive, they would they would definitely indulge if, well, in the if, pyramids. Actually, if they were all alive, John Lennon would probably have found another wife to beat. But I mean, whatever. We're not getting into the Yoko, <laughs> into the Yoko things. So last last short question here for end it all. Do you f- if you were pres if you were the um, UK guy um, prime minister, would you have done it differently? What what would you have done? Like, are you, are you built different? Like, are you like, oh yeah, I, I, would, mm. I would handle Corona better. Mm. It's a very good question. Uh, well, I'm not a prime minister. I'm not a politician either, Fuck so off. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know exactly. But if they were like, you have to do something about this, Connor. I would uh, probably just let the scientists figure it out mm. and take their advice. I guess. I mean, scientists are always right. It's always best to listen. Also, but also listen to what people are saying in terms of like what people what the people want. Like get public. I mean, feedback. obviously, the country is quite split. You know, we got either selfish pricks or overly sensitive. Pricks, really, yeah, it, two it's sides. like the new um, gravy advert that for um, Sainsbury's. That statement, but it's true. Nah, you know, you know you're right. It's like, it's like you've got the pricks who are complaining about the black family on the Sainsbury's advert, saying it's not relatable to British families. Oh god, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, people are complaining about that. It's just so <laughs> stupid. Does Kevin well, the Carrot well, relate to fucking um, Christmas um, families as well in Britain? Because why Kevin the Carrot's a bloody carrot? 
Yeah, true. They so, could be cancelling Kevin the carrot. I mean, because like I'm no cancel. human is orange. It, well, <laughs> orange man bad. Had Donald Trump. Orange man bad. No person is as orange as Kevin the carrot. So like, <laughs> guess I guess I should have a go at that then. We're all chavs. Mm. They're orange. Not representing the humans, the British people, whatever fucking EDL are saying these days. Who knows? <laughs> You know what, Connor? You gave some lovely insight here. I'm not gonna True. say. I'm not gonna say you. you um, have you had? You got any words? Because last time I said that in the end of a podcast, he just said the word chef. So, Connor Bailey, you've been an amazing guest to have on. I will hopefully have you on in the future. Um, I'll link, Jeff. I'll link whatever you want on the socials. Thank you for coming on, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want. I'll see you all in the next episode.